Hello everyone and welcome back to another gameplay of the Outbound Ghosts with the Best Boys Get Silly's and Sir Scott. Hello! And uh, before we get started of how we got here, if you haven't seen part one or part two, Scott, let them know what is the Outbound Ghost. The Outbound Ghost is a party RPG that's similar to like Paper Mario. It's developed by Conradical Games and published by Digirati. Yeah. So if you weren't paying attention to the first two parts, you really should go back and watch them. Yeah, a lot of cool stuff happens. Uh, we find out that uh, we named our character, I don't know. So, I don't know is uh, Amnesiac. Who knows, right? That's a weird thing. How come he doesn't know? And we got another ghost who is also Amnesiac, Adrian. Uh, he got a headache and a hurt tummy, and he decided to run into a cave with our good friend, uh, not... Uh, was it Kenneth? I get it, Ken. It's Mary's dumb brother. Or whatever, yeah. Yeah, it's been a while. But honestly, though, <laughs> so if you're wondering how we got here, uh, we just ran from the house to the save station. So before we get started with the gameplay, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell as well, be notified next time we go live, and check out the other Outbound Ghost gameplay videos, uh, as well as the re upcoming review, which obviously there'll be a review, right? Right, Scott? We're going to review this, right? Pretty sure we are. I mean, oh, thank I don't see why we wouldn't. Oh, thank God. I, I was worried that you were going to say, no, we don't review games anymore. We're, uh, we're too cool <laughs> for that. We just make Only really... Neptunia games get reviews now. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> You're moving on to that. that that's the total dita <laughs> the dictatorship of the uh, Lolicons. <laughs> oh, man. But it, honest, works, it works. It works. It works. Yeah, anyway, that's pretty much it, though. Uh, let's start the video and one away. So, to point out is that we, we gain another ghost, if you haven't seen, called Callousness. He's pretty much a, looks like a tank ghost. So, we have a DPS, a tank, and a, uh, a support. And we see we the game all the party elements now. Yeah, exactly. You know that feels great. Uh, speaking of party elements, um, let's see. It's a little off topic here. Um, as you guys may know, we're also well, we're also we're a little bit of VTuber fans, and uh, Scott over here is a fan of Tokina Sora, the first VTuber for uh, Hollow Live, and uh, she was playing Hollow Cure, and uh, she was she was feeling tired, and she was saying, "I'm tired. I'm sleepy," which summoned all the. Uh, all the foreign fans, aka the Kai Guy Nikis, into her chat. Scott Scott summoned, so he knew the call. Always have to give all the energy. Yeah, all the energy, which kept, which made her pep up and then finish playing the game. Exactly, it's like the spirit bomb, but yeah. not Goku. Yeah, not for Goku, for uh, you know, for Serena, the, the goddess. Uh, <laughs> let's go for Aether up. Oh, he can only gain one ability, so. Oh, uh, so he can only attack or defend, but I'm guessing defend probably. Huh. Ooh, shelter. Interesting. Let's see, we'll shelter all the damage from you. Yeah, keep the healer up. <laughs> yeah. And we can just heal him if anything bad happens. Exactly. Oh, come on. You go after the DPS. What does the DPS do to you yet? Yeah. Yeah, it has not there yet. So, much like we said, Paper Mario, uh, Paper Mario or Mario Leaf Super Soccer type games. Uh, this game is a lot based off like quirky mechanics, like uh, you know, art, quick time events, things like that, so you can uh, pay attention. Or if you don't, you'll be in trouble. <laughs> Pretty much. If you don't pay attention, then you might lose a few party members. Yeah. And this game has a lot of cool RP classic RPG stuff. Like we, like you know, if you've seen the other two videos, there are some fights we just ran away. It was not going to win those fights at all. No, no, there are some that were like three people that are both like all three, like three levels higher than us. Yep. Alright, we got that guy down. So we're gonna defend. Oh, wait, oops. Oh. Defend, hooray! Okay. Eighth are up. And that lesser heal you? Yeah, perfect heal. Get the tank up. Minor limit break adds one AP to a target. Regards of victory allow them to go past it next turn. Oh, that's pretty sick, actually. Well, that is awesome. Jeez. Yeah. Why is the tank so useful? It's like playing Final Fantasy XIV, man. Tanks are cool. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, honestly though, I do like um, in RPGs where tanks can do other things besides just take punch to face. You know, like tank yeah, units. Other than just aggroing everything, they yeah. can actually improve situations with like buffs or stuff. Or, like, disrupt the enemy by stunning them or taking away their, like, turn. Yeah. 
He's out of MP though, but that's okay. He'll get it back. We could just MP share. Yep. And that's it. goodbye. Goodbye. That's a lot of EXP. Yeah, it is. Mwah, you kissed that beautiful EXP. Honestly, though, I'm, I'm, I really like this RPG. It's really good. It's like there's a, there's a lot of subtlety in the art done in the game. The only thing I find funny though is that I can't jump. <laughs> a ghost that can't jump. It's so weird. Yeah, it's so weird. And you get healed by every battle, which is really nice. So you can kind of go yeah. all out. You don't have to focus so much on you know piling up your resources for the boss fight. Oh yeah. Lord, Lord knows that's a thing. Uh, <laughs> let's see. We're gonna. We can't use MP on this fight because otherwise I'll have no MP for the boss. Ye oh, yeah. Or, you know, someone says, let me just stock up on infinite items, and then if I have, if I have enough items, I'll just be the boss. <laughs> it's not about, like, I'm good, I just, you know, out-survived you. It's all about out-tanking the competition. Yeah. And then we, if you're doing that in an RPG, you lose, it, lose, it takes you a lot of fun, because it's more just like, oh, look, I, I, I did the thing. Yeah, you lose a lot of the cool moments of, like, seeing your opponent get totally one-shotted by just an amazing combo ability. Right. Cool, he's stunned. Eh, we'll be fine. Okay, we Good. can kill that guy. There we go. 20, that's, that's what we call big damage. Actually, I think they're gonna attack you. I was wrong, they attacked me instead. <laughs> well, it is what it is. <laughs> yep. It is time to use the heal. Yeah, critical heal. He only gets one AP, which is fair. <laughs> he doesn't get a stat, but that's probably because when he tanks, he just tanks so much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A healing answer. Yeah. Yep. Skill. Shelter. The healer the healer can survive. It's always a good idea. Yeah. Alright, time to use a skill. It's taking too long. I'm going to use uh, magic strikes. Nice. 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 Uh... We destroyed him. Alright, level 10 ghosties. And everyone's leveled up. Yep. The lifesteal vial. Yeah, we can make some nice stuff. Snuff out the flame. I don't know why uh -huh. we did that, but we could do it. I don't know. Just because you can, I guess, is one reason enough. There's a tent. Oh, there's a sewer. Can I go in there? Nope, not yet. Yep. You oh, can what? also light it, apparently. What? Oh, it doesn't let you light it. Interesting. Oh, never mind. I guess we don't need to light it. Maybe we need, like, matches or something. Yeah. That's about how you do that kind of stuff. The, the music in this game is very atmospheric, very, like, lo-fi, but it's really well done. I think it really accentuates the mood. Yeah. Bum, 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 bum. Alright. We're blocking. You're buffing. You're buffing. And um, more buffing. Alright, Aether up. We're just gonna def we're just gonna block for the healer. Wow, hit the wrong person. Okay. I was not expecting it the wrong person, but alright, I'll let that slide. Uh, we're gonna poison uh, the big turtle. Actually yeah, no, actually they can heal the turtle anyway. So let's go for a swift hit on this guy. So every attack, um, every attack or special attack has a different type of meter charge. Uh, like when it, when it when it starts off, it's not consistent. So you can like you, it, it takes a lot of like memorization, like timing to get down. Yeah, it really does, which can be both a blessing and a curse. Yeah, exactly. As long as long as you don't botch the attack, you should be hopefully fine. Hey, that's one dead guy. Thanks for hitting the wrong guy. <laughs> I'm sure they're very uh, grateful they are to 
Alright. Alright, let's block for the DPS. His life is his HP is lower. Alright. That's that's a hit I can live with. Alright, let's go for magic strike. Uh... <laughs> oh he's dead. You can attack a dead thing, that's funny. I don't Nice. Nice. Good amount of damage right there. Yeah. That's what they call big damage. I swear that uh what you call that trinket that recovers SP per second is a godsend. It really is. It helps the healer have so much SP. Yep. Minor power. Let's buff up your power. Oh, that's right. If you buff up the Oh, he gets a power too, because I gave it to him. Oh, that's kinda cool. That is really cool. So well, yeah, I didn't know that. Look at that. Little little minor mechanics. Stun. Yeah, we got a stun. This should kill. There we go. Now it's time. I just got the turtle. Yep, turtle power. Now it can go for poison attacks. Oof, that's beefy. Aether up. Aether up. Block my DPS. Fair enough. Alright, now I'm gonna try the poison attack on him because he has a lot of things going on. Hey. Alright, now. So every time he attacks, he's gonna take a uh, four damage. Four. All right, my he heals HP per turn now. Let's see what this does again. Oh, adds to one max AP. Yeah, I'm gonna do that to you. Give the damage dealer some more damage dealing. Once he blocks in, yeah. yeah. Oh, look at that! You lost six okay. HP. Oh, look at that! You lost six eight. You lost six SP. That's kind of that's kind of crappy for you, buddy. Let's uh, let's make that worse for you. <laughs> let's make it worse. Now you're just kind of dead next turn. I'm gonna go for minor replenish. Yep, let's heal and bam. Oh yeah, you can attack. I totally forgot. The tank can attack. Or right, tank with the finish. Dead by tank. Oh, that felt good. That felt strategio. More lights. More lights. Dirt. I, I love dirt. I love smoke bombs. Smoke bombs is the only way to escape combat. So if you don't have it, you cannot escape combat. Yeah, which... Hopefully we don't have to run out of those ever. No. Uh, like, the best way is, uh, try not to pick fights all the time with things. Like, it's, like, you know, the tactical retreat does help, which I really like that in this game, because there's, there's, like, I only remember that in old school games, like, if you travel too far, like, in, uh, old Dragon Quest games, if you travel to a region too far, these enemies are, like, level 10, you're level 5, you probably don't want to do it. You could risk it and be a little, you know, risk reverse it, but there's no way you're going to win those fights, because in Dragon Quest, um, battles are random. So, even if you beat that boss, you gotta fight someone else. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, hello. Hello. A strange bug allows you to, uh, all aspects of vigor. A show allows you to aspects of healing. Hmm, what a, ch what a choice. Healing or buffing, I'm guessing. You can make increased defense by 25%, reduce AP to 1. Hmm. Halves SP, interesting, and... Reduce healing skills by 50%, but healing skills heal users as much as the target. That's cool. Reduce power to zero, zero but increase HP uh, healing. No. <laughs> yeah, these are no. We're going to go for the bulk ward. Yeah. Cool. Ah, look at that, the forge. Uh, let's see what we got here. We got healing up. We, can make, we got reconstruction already. You gotta get more respite. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need more pink gems and respites. I'll make an Aether Guard. Go for it. Hey. And we go to Figments. Aether 
AP is zero. <laughs> oh, so you can go lower than one. That's pretty bad, actually. Actually, mm, no. I don't think it's bad. Because he does he need. Try it. Yeah, let's try it. I don't think he. I could be wrong. He may not need AP to do the um do the to shelter. Nope, don't know what that is. That's a, that's a squirrely girl on the ground. A shovel. Got a shovel. Next to a cemetery. <laughs> Next to us. <laughs> All right. Level ten. They are linked to him. They're life linked. Okay. We got an aether. We got an aether. Oh no, he can't. You actually need one AP to move. Oh no. Dang. <laughs> Dang. I'm just, I'm just speed. I'm just, uh, yeah. That's pretty dangerous. That's pretty dangerous. He's just there now to be a wall that sometimes gets hit. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's. Kill the bats. There we go. Kill him. Yeah. Oh, that was a lot. Actually. That's a lot. Yeah, that's like that. That is big damage. Heal up, please. Thank you. Oof. Big game. Thank you. Thank you for hitting. <laughs> thank you for hitting the other guy. I appreciate that a lot. Oh, look, I got that stunned is. by it. I like oh, that. Oh, it stunned him from it. Now, that is good mechanics right there. That's fair, because he's lifelink to them. Therefore, he takes all the damage they would have given him. Yep. I'm too greedy, so... <laughs> there we go. All right, it yeah. worked out. And we leveled up off it. Cool. All right, so we cannot do that. I reducing yeah, the AP. Yeah. yeah, that was not good. If we had one that increased his AP, maybe we could do that as well. But I don't think we have one for that. That is something to look forward to. But we should probably remove it off of him if we ever want to use the tank for you know more than just tanking. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. What's it called? Aether trade. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Remove, remove. How do you, uh... There we go. Extra remove. No. Move. There we go. That worked. That worked. All right. We get dick things and a shovel. Ah, yes. The beach for those cute, cute cutscenes. <laughs> get those screenshots in. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Just do a little braggadocious, you know? Oh, look at that. More. Oh, that's a nice sunset, though. It is, though, yeah. Almost inspirational. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, uh, uh... Alright, Mary. Hey, uh, can I ask you something? I don't know. So, I'm following you around... I'm so, sorry, that, that, that is muscular boy. So, I'm following you around, right? Uh, M Michael and Corey were following you, too, when they were with us earlier. Uh, we didn't want to say anything, so you didn't want to be rude, but, uh... Why do you occasionally hide in bush bushes and wince? It's almost if you're avoiding something. You see ghost-like things? No way, that's just like Adrian. Must be an amnesiac thing, I guess. Okay... Do we see them? No, not at all. To us, it's like you're avoiding something invisible. It just is good, uh, it's good to know that they're just apparitions. At least you're not some weirdo or something. Apparitions? Oh yeah, that's what Adrian calls them. He says he's defeat them with his emotions, whatever that means. Do you have that too? Wow, if you do, then you must be really the same thing. I, I guess all more reason to get you get back and talk to Adrian more. He may think you two don't have the same tradition, but this is new information, so here says otherwise. Let's continue going forward. We actually haven't too far from the, so uh, from the southern outbound outskirts. That's where Michael, Corey, and I are from. And I suspect that's where they're headed. If we don't find them along the way, we'll definitely find them there. Let's go! Hmm. And I guess that explains why they don't help you out in battle then, because they don't even see you doing the battle. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for explaining that. This <laughs> is... 
So they're just useless party members, but nope. <laughs> yep. Alright, this song got to kill Lifelink guy real quick. Uh, you yeah, have to kill Lifelink guy real quick, though. Just surprised that he's not Lifelink with any bats this time. Yep. Alright, I'm gonna block the healer. Defend the healer. Oh! Wow, that's a lot of turns you got there, buddy. I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan of that, but, uh... <laughs> I don't have a way to do damage. Yeah, that's a problem. That's okay. We got a punch. <laughs> there we go. That's good enough. Now it's just a turtle. I can actually give HP to an enemy. Wow. What a what an actual good tank. I'll consider it. Yeah. You can give HP and give SP away. Actually, I would like to Aether up so I can get a... Minor replenish. Yeah. There we go. He'll heal per turn as you defend us with your with your shield me with your body. <laughs> Thank you. Yep, now we're gonna poison him. Oh wait, minor wind cut. Apply wind cut for four turns. I don't know what that means. Well, I can try it, I guess. Alright. Now let's try applying now poison. Yep. He's fine. That's act. Armored apparition. Oh, I didn't defend. That's fine. Oh, we got replen. Yeah, he's fine with the replenish. Just, just do it again. It's like, yeah, now you heal twice as hard. And, then, and with that, he could probably give his HP to other people if need be. There we go. That's what you get for messing with me. Bing bing. Oh, almost level up. Yep. Mm -mm -mm. Hey, there's stuff here. Mm, stuff I can't take yet. Apparently you just can't steal things as a ghost. Yep. Oh no, fungi. No. Oh. Thing? Oh. So, uh, oh, he's. Oh, that was a fungi. He's a ghost. It's, his name is Frog. Oh god. <laughs> oh jeez. When I was alive, my parents never let me follow my dreams. But now that I'm dead, it's all different. I can finally leave. I can live as a mushroom. I, you do realize that one of those things you can't do, right? Yeah. The, the alive part? I, I get the mushroom part. <laughs> But when you're dead, you're just dead as a mushroom. Yeah, yeah, you, that's... You know, I, I wish him the best for his dreams, you know? We, who am I to say you can't live your life as a mushroom? Oh, I can't, yep. Gotta find another way to get around that. You understand, man. Yeah, just... You do that mushroom life, I guess, or mushroom death, whatever you want to call it now. Yeah. Mushroom existence. <laughs> Or D's existence, it's it's too much for me. All right, we gotta go down this amazing. Now we're back at the beach. Campfire, thank you, Bill. Thank you, Bill. If you know who Bill is, uh, check out the first video. He's a hero. He's <laughs> he's the real hero of the game. Let's see. Nothing else we can kind of make. Is it a respite? Not yeah, I can only that. make the reconstruction one again, but I don't really understand why I do need to do that. Increase HP by half. I have SP. Uh, that actually could be pretty good, actually. I mean, if we put that on the tank as well as the like reconstruction gem, that could work. Yeah. Oh, you press X to dig. Oh, well, there you go. Hey, I wasn't. Now I'm gonna go go up there and dig that. That feels great. We can use this shovel. Yes, we can dig for things we need. 
Oh man. Yeah, speaking. Hey, a you got beach a key. Bench. Beach key. Okay. That's okay. A bench. <laughs> yeah, you got bench. A key to the bench. Oh man, speaking of bench keys. So, uh, man, there are certain there are certain places or parks, right? For some reason, they have like guards on the bench that's kind of lock it up, and you need a bench key to open that. So, bench keys do exist, but uh, but it's so that dumb. That is weird. Yeah, <laughs> apparently they're like we don't want homeless people on, on sleeping in the parks at night. Oh look, we got a res we got a respite. Oh, nice. Cause, well, Cause apparently other people are gonna use it at night if somehow. Yeah, yeah, it's super weird. So it's for paying customers only, but no one pays to go to the park. Yeah. That's what I said. A flower. Are we gonna dig out the grave too? No. <laughs> yeah, I dig up. Uh, let's see. Nope, this doesn't do anything. Okay, I think we can dig up the, the black squares. All right. And as we race towards back down. But uh, yeah, it's it's stupid. I don't know. I don't know why would they do that. But you know what? Uh, I, I wish them the best of luck because it's not gonna stop homeless people from sleeping in where are they gonna sleep at? You could just you know make more homeless shelters or whatever to to make it because like it's just weird. It's one of the weird. It's one of the weirdest ways to like stop people from like from sleeping sleeping in the in the park or something like that. That's where the tax dollars go, apparently. Yeah. Oh, we got a respite, so we can uh, make we something. Can do something. No, we had that already. Don't need that. Uh... Mm, mm. Reconstruction? Nah. Mm, yeah, nothing's worth yet. A lot of I. Yeah. Mm hmm. Hey, look, another. Oh, that might be where the key goes. Oh, look, another beach key, just in case. Yes, you have two lockpicks. Wait, you don't have to do anything. Okay. Easy I puzzle. Yeah, <laughs> I, lo I love how the, the key puzzle is just like, yeah, just put the key in the hole. Like, thanks. Wow, that's a lot of apples. None of those are spikes, sadly. Oh, this guy again. But this time we're ready. We have a tank. We got a tank. And we know how to fight things. Well, slightly better. Holy snap! That's a punch. Even against the tank. Holy crap! Yeah, he did. That was a that was a punch. All right. Who they should we kill first? Heal though? them without buffing. They just healed. For no yeah, reason? he just healed. Okay. Should, yeah. Uh, I think we should kill the healer first. Yeah, that's probably wise. We don't need them healing. Wow, that... Okay, that's... You just already stun him? Yep. Oh, he's level... easy. Yeah, apparently he's level 4. That's good enough for me. Uh, yeah, take this replenish, man. And then we're going to, uh, minor power the DPS. Shelter the DPS, because I think I'm going to punch him. Oh, no. Ha! <laughs> Jeez, it just buffed up the big guy now. Yeah. Oof. Yikes. Luckily, Yikes. it doesn't do nearly as much damage as I thought it would. Yep. We got eight. Actually, minor limit break. Alrighty. Alright. We're gonna go... We're gonna go for the big one, the meteor. Alrighty. Oh, oh that, nice. Nice. Oh wow, we did. Yeah, that was that was worth it. We stunned him. Mm-hmm. His defense may be high, but I don't care because he's gonna get. <laughs> that's that's cool. All that defense. This guy's just... Jesus. Actually, let me do the right thing. Healer. There we go. We got Goodbye. him. Goodbye. This shouldn't make everything else easier. Yep. First time we fought that career, we had no chance. But now, easy peasy. Yeah, Feels... we actually, you know, can utilize strategy. Strategio. 
<laughs> the greatest of all strategies. I also like how <laughs> this game uh, uh, battle system or this encounter system isn't kind of randomized. It's a set enemies you can get there. It's always been like I feel like there's a huge discussion between like when it comes to RPG battle systems. Do you want randomized or you want fixed encounters? Yeah, I think it's always interesting to see how that goes because I think it usually varies on what I want based on the game. Yeah. I don't like games that like incessantly make you grind or force you to grind in order to get at over something. Mm hmm. But I do appreciate if you basically do grind enough in the sense of taking all the encounter battles that you'll be at least a little more ready for the boss encounters. Yeah. I tend to lean towards sometimes fixed encounters. Oh, I don't know where this guy came from, but okay. I like fixed encounters because each battle can feel like it's something different and you're having a different experience based on the number of counters you're having. Yeah. But grind sense. but grinding battles are fine too because you still get to feel that power that you know the power in the end like yeah I I, I grind to level 20 and this enemy this boss <laughs> is like level 18 I'm going to wreck him. I will then, say it does give you a sense of power fantasy once you do grind enough. Yeah. I mean I still play Disgaea so that's literally what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> this guy of power fantasy is a whole power fantasy above any other though. <laughs> which which is Tijo? All right, so we got to I think out the and also too, I feel like the like much like um I think we if you could check out YouTube videos uh, we played earlier the Ruined King, we definitely figure out the rhythm of the battle once we figure out like how to use Yashio, the uh, the healer tank, I forgot her name, she the buff queen and then, and then uh god the the guy from League of Legends the, the horse. The one guy from League of Legends of all the characters. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's the only one from League of Legends. No one else is from League of Legends. <laughs> Fair. Oh, God. Hmm. Oh, that's right, you have a second turn. I like that. Um, I'm gonna make... Power you up. Ow. Yeah. Nice heal. My limit break. But yeah, you find like the pattern between the characters, you build it, you know, the motion of it. I like I kinda like that in party dynamics. You figure out the motion and what you're supposed to do per character. It really feels good. Yeah, it really does. Oh, you're stunned? Oh, it sucks to be you. It's time to use the meteor. Let's see if I can watch out the meteor. Yes. Oh, oh, yeah, that felt power. Oh, that felt good. Chef's kiss. That was beautiful. That was worth all the. I was overflow of marmalade. Wow, wow. Well, I really like the music in this game. It's really nice. It, but, but this song particularly feels like I'm in a western. <laughs> we are next to sand. Yeah. Mm, and oh, hello. Hello. Frog's not here. Interesting. Oh, okay. Oh, the that super looks mushrooms. Like, uh, yeah. Uh, we have problem with. Oh no. They're dead. Oh, okay. okay. They're weaker, so it feels. Yeah. <laughs> it feels good too. Yeah, yeah. Just cr yeah. All right. Crash the competition. Yeah, the elimination of the women. <laughs> uh, from Conan the Barbarian. <laughs> I still, I, I think Conan, the first Conan movie, the sec, the second one's a little like gets a little cartoony and toned down. But I, I think the first Conan movie is a legitimate masterpiece. I think it's solid. I yeah. haven't watched, I haven't watched it in a while though, so I can't say definitely. Like, I, I guess, I guess, like, because you see the trial of, like, Conan becoming, like, the, the slayer of stuff and, you know, destroyer worlds, all that jazz. But it's, yeah. well, it's, a, it's a good, simple revenge story that gets it done right. With some, with some decent elements. Hey, we killed <laughs> And we leveled up. And we leveled up. Oh, look at that. We're just... By the way, we're, we're, we're grinding so high, we're higher than level, like, level 13. The enemies here are, like, level... Oh, a smoke bomb. Level 13 and, like, level 10 enemies. We're doing real good. Oh, hey. Well, that looks like a thing. 
funky. How'd I get here? <laughs> it's like one entrance point, so you both smell. Same as you. How'd you get here? I, I don't know. How'd you get here? How'd you get here? That's, yeah, that's, the, that's the big deal. Oh, there's the bridge that we uh, could have gone if it was up. Yeah. More apples. Yeah, I, I, I need for spites and uh, pink gems, actually, but thanks for all the apples. Yeah. Wait, we could have gone right, couldn't we? Oh, let's check. It's always good to check that out. Nope. Uh, well, what is that over there, though? What's over where? At the very edge of the gate on the right. Very edge of the gate on the other side. Other side, okay. Yeah. This is why you get paid the big bucks. Uh, <laughs> Looks like just... there's something there. Nope. It could just be texture, okay. Yeah. Would have been cool if there was something there, though. Mm -hmm. Well, at least he went that way. Yep. Alright, so now we gotta climb all the way back upstairs. And I think because, like, this game has more of a fixed encounter rate, once you clear a dungeon, it's just exploration, so you can just, like, chill, like, you know, live the dream. It's very nice. Yeah. You don't have to worry about constantly just running away from enemies. Yeah. Hey, look, it's a cave. Do we have a key to this cave? We do have a key for this cave. Yes, we do. We just have to move that up. We're so smart. You know, you know, you and I are, you know, graduated with a <laughs> PhD for this, you know? This, this is why we went to college. It was clearly so we could uh, be able to play RPGs. At the highest skill. In the purest form. Oh man, I have too many apples. We have a pink gem finally. So oh yeah, we got a couple. It's gonna be enough. Basic attacks. Oh. No, that's horrible. Yeah. That actually, you know, this is not actually good for tank because tank doesn't have any damage. We can't skills. do any other skills with damage. Yeah. Yeah, this might be good for that's one. Minor power down. Ah, oh, this is a debuff. Interesting. Oh. In HP per abs. Okay, so we have a lot of options now. And they play the smooth jazz as we think about our options. Hmm. <laughs> just get a normal defense buff, I guess. <laughs> we, were, well, we got that already. Currently owned. Yeah. Alright, so this could be good for tank. No bones. This could be excellent for healer, so it can, they can debuff people. Yes. And this can be great. Well, actually, it'd be, it'd be well. This could be great for um for tank. Yes. So we got a lot of options. I feel like I don't attack the tank as much, anyway. So this might be a waste. Might be. Minor healing down. Can't do that. This, yeah, my, it's either this or Viger Tree. I think debuffing enemy attack is kind of more worth it if we're not buffing each other up or anything. Okay. Yeah. Let's try that one. It takes five aspect gen. Oh, we have it right there. Okay. Yeah, we got one of those. Thanks for now this. Now we can just put it on comrade. Yep. Get camaraderie. Reduce my AP for one. Uh -huh. nah. nah. That smooth jazz is helping everyone like go together. Oh. Is this an encounter we just got into? Or yeah. Okay. Yeah. These are, oh, these are oh, higher enemies. Oh, these, this looks dangerous. Yeah, this looks dangerous. This is quite the danger. Yeah, they fight. Yeah, they steal our abilities. Okay, buddy. Major defense. Applies major defense to a target. Yeah, cutting HP would be pretty bad. I mean, cutting SP would be pretty bad. 
you're healing. Wow, that was that, that was big damage. But don't worry, I, I got Meteor Strike for this one. Alright, first things for us. Let's, uh... Yeah, let's cut your... Minor... Yeah. Alright. I'll go for the punch. Betrayal. Ouch. Ouchie. Ouch. So close to stun. I can feel it. I can feel it. He's so close to stun. There we go. There we go. Let the tank put him out of their misery. Alright. 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 All right. Aether up. Minor replenish. You. I gotta heal that tank. And, uh, shh. Uh, shelter... Yeah. Just in case they go after you. Yeah, true. Ow. Alright, we're gonna go for a couple of punches. Alright. Minor replenish you. Oh no, I hit- that's right, you were blocking for him. If they kill my healer, I'm in trouble. Eesh. Eesh, 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 eesh. Aether. Skill. Minor replenish. You. Skill. Limit break. You. I know you're healing. I'm not a fan of the healing. Thank you. What I will do is, uh... I'll save the meteor when I need it. I actually use it immediately yeah. now. SP Steel. Should I just try breaking the guy, or...? Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna... Uh, yeah. He should be broke now, hopefully. Oh, that's just fantastic. I love that. You're dead okay. now. okay. He's dead. <laughs> cool. Now it's time to... Uh, SP share. To you. I mean, as long as you're not punching me, that's okay. That's literally the whole plan. You gave, yeah, you gave him the SP because, yeah, yeah, because yeah, SP. The shelter, I can run the shelter thing. If, if I give it to someone else, they get, they get the ability, but it's fine. He has some SP, so he can do something. Minor HP share. Here, take it. Keep beating him down. Beat him down with the bomb, bro. Oh, that was too early. SP defense leverage. There we go. <laughs> Gotta do something. Okay. This is a toughie. Yeah, he keeps healing himself. 
Yep. Alright. I'm gonna... Yeah, so just keep putting the pressure on him. Yeah, I gotta keep the pressure on him. He'll probably just keep trying to heal himself, so he's not gonna probably do any damage after he's at a certain threshold. Yeah. This should do it. There we go. Oof. Boom, shakalaka. Got him. And that was... And we wow. leveled up. <laughs> yep. Minor power down. Nice. Fields heal. Nice. Cool. Oof, that was that was um, that was amazing. You unlocked a new figment, kleptomania. And one copy of deepest memories, your volition, you have unshackled your past, the new figment self. Cool. Cool. So I have four ghosts now. Awesome. Man. That was amazing. And I do mean that. Amazing. Alright. So with that out the way, thank you so much guys for checking out this playthrough of the Outbound Ghost. Uh, this one's a little longer than usual, but this game is truly amazing, and be sure to check out the other gameplay videos as well, and the review, which which is, you know, is on the YouTube channel, which views are nice, you know. You should be there already. You should be there already, exactly. And we should probably get back to doing other things, but thank you guys so much for checking out the video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you can know if I next time go live, and follow us on our social medias below, and check out the rest of our YouTube content. We got some amazing things from channel reactions, uh, gameplays, and other, you know, cool video game stuff. So, we'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!